All right, man, here we are, episode 10 of Booze Club, and we've worked our way around to the mighty month of Rocktober, and uh, everything that we've decided to put together today is a little bit on the scary, frightful side, um, so uh, without further ado, I say we should adjourn this matter to the mixing station. Any anything? Oi, matey. Well... I was going to do a really frightful Halloween drink with uh, one of my favorite potions here, some tin cup bourbon, but... Uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, uh, oh, oh, North Country Mountain Biking. A heard of them. A North Country... David no, 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 it came in the form of one man. Uh, anyways, found that this bottle was defective, had a hole in the top... All of it spilled right down his fucking neck last night. And so, henceforth, I don't have anything to mix with. Or do I? Now, this is where, like, it would get really cool and, you know, like, uh, I don't know, Milton Berle would pull out the scariest of all scary potions. Sake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. <laughs> I told you I was going to bring out something scary for Halloween. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, you know all the the peanut gallery out there. Um, I don't know if they're gonna want to do a lot do this along with us, but just you and I are gonna definitely oh, do some. Uh, I'm Let me. Puke no, you won't. No, no. All right. Without further ado, let's get a little whiff of this now. Everybody's sake doing it now. is uh, rice wine. Hmm. Now get the smell it already. Yeah, it what? smells very strongly smells of cat piss. Like paint thinner. <laughs> paint thinner is too kind. I um, think you actually might be able to remove nail polish. Take, oh, holy shit! No, that really is. That's something that I don't know what the hell. All right, but like I say, this is what they gave to kamikaze pilots, and well, that's why they killed themselves. I know it just to get the flavor out of their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fly my zero into, it the, into the. Thought it was a plan, but it really yep. wasn't. I'll fly my zero All into right. that aircraft carrier right. just to get the flavor better, out of my mouth. All right, everybody. Hey, yeah. bon appetit, and that's some scary shit. Aren't you scared? Is yes. everybody scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Yes. This is down there. It's having its Halloween effect. Ooh. Don't be wimps. Why not? I actually really like it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, Tommy, you like piss. <laughs> Uh. Oh, fuck. oh, are you? Can I have a sip of that? Give me the, give me the, give me the, uh, the small appetizer. Oh, yeah. oh, don't breathe out. It tastes like urine. <laughs> so today, I have something very special. Not really, because I threw it together in literally two seconds. Apple cider, cask strength, Lafroy ten. Oh, it's beautiful. So what we're gonna do here. You can smell the iodine. It's a beautiful thing. Now you have smoky apple cider. Cause Pete, he's a guy. This is Dave from North Country MTV. <laughs> he can't be here today, but he's represented in wood form. This is basically if you really could chalk up his actions last night into a carving, this would be it. It really would. Yeah. You were a bad, bad boy. Dave <laughs> North Country MTV. Well, anyways, to here's today. Did you put a piece of wood in my drink? I know. It. Oh, no. it does smell no. peaty. Peaty? Peaty as if. Holy shit. It smells like it was made in, like, Clancy McClagan's uh, fucking peat <laughs> furnace. You know what Pete Puller? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Pete Pollen's all about. 
I peed Paul for a I'm long time. What? I'm what? I'm what? I bought, I'm in the, I would Pete's like it if I would. Hand if I'm, smell like. Holy shit. If I'm being I honest, know. I would like it to if have it, a little more apple cider. <laughs> I, I would like it. it. This, is, this is a little more peaty than your test. Yeah. 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 This is like, yeah. You, That's a lot of peaty. Yeah. yeah. This this is is a, Dave, what do you think? <laughs> no, I. <laughs> <laughs> Dave thinks. Dave thinks. Uh, Dave likes it. <laughs> Dave says it's fucking Petey. Well, here's some Petey anyways, for you. Yep. Army mateys, we're here. It's our Halloween episode of Booze Club. We're doing scary drinks. And what is scary to me? Sharks. Hello. Uh, and millions of other people out there. So today I chose to make something called the Shark Bite. And I guarantee it's not going to be shitty like the other drinks we've had today. First, you need half a shaker of ice. You're going to take one ounce of white rum. Because I'm going to make two. Then, we're going to do the same, but we're going to use spiced rum. I chose Captain Morgan's because it was cheap. Eddie's a pirate. Arr. 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 Then we're going to do three of these. This is uh, Kim's Sour Mix. He makes it all by himself. He's good like that. And then one of these. And this is called Blue Curacao. And this is going to make our drink that lovely blue color. It's Curacao. Call it what you will. All right. Then I'm going to take this here fine shaker, put the lid on it. Yeah, a little shake, shake, shake. Um, twist it off or not. There we go. I'm going to strain the ice out of it. You can tell I've only done this once before. And here we go. It comes out this... Gorgeous blue color, right? Is it gorgeous? All right, and we don't stop there. Why do we call it the shark bite? Because there's blood in the water. So you take your grenadine, and I uh, put this in the fridge so it would just get a little bit thicker, and you carefully pour it over your ice to create that lovely bloody effect. And it is grenadine, so it's nice and sweet. It'll go great with your citrus. There you go. And then I like to garnish with a nice ear. And there you have it. The shark bite. Thank you. So we're going to try this. So we're... <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. Mmm, curacao-y. <laughs> <laughs> There's a I can taste a hint of Kawasaki in here. Mm. Mm, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. You can oh, drink fuck. this on the beach all day yeah. and never go oh, in man. the water. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Kind of, For Christ's sake, now I know why well, sharks like humans. Mm. <laughs> it's like um Kool-Aid. It is very beachy. Yeah, very much like Kool-Aid. Kool yes. Kool Christ, it's got booze. It's very it. beachy. It, uh, what do you think, Dave? Damn good. <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> so we're here. I'm saying that because I know Dave hates it, but it's true. So we are here at the clubhouse, and today I'm going to make a apple pie on the rocks. Now, what you're going to want to do is start off with some vanilla vodka and some Fireball. Now, if you don't want to commit to buying an entire shitty bottle of vodka that is vanilla flavored, I don't blame you. So that's why what I did was go with... These, you know, you can usually find these for around 99 cents, and then, you know, you go from there. So, what you're going to want to do, I'm going to double the recipe tonight because we have a few people joining us. But what I'm going to do is, you're going to want to do one, hold on, i got to find the shit. You're going to want to do one ounce of this, alright, which is actually two ounces, so you just use the whole thing. Pretend it went in the mix cup. Then... One ounce of Fireball. Again, I'm doubling my recipe, so I'm using two. Pretend it went in the mix cup. Then, after that, you're going to want four ounces 
of apple cider. Again, I'm doubling it, so I'm gonna go eight. I am gonna get a little precise with this one though, because you don't wanna put too much non-alcohol in your alcohol. So hold on a second, people. Four, like I said, I'm doubling it though, so hold on to your socks. Okay, so there's that. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is add a touch of cinnamon, just for, I don't know, because that's what the recipe said. Ooh. Anyway, give her a good shake -a Put her in. Boom. There she is. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna top her off with a little bit of apple there, and then stir her up with a finger, just to be safe and make sure your cinnamon's all in there decently. You know, I'll throw a little apple in for the people. And bam, there you have it. Apple pie on the rocks. For you. Tasting. The apple pie. It, but um, mm, that's delicious. It tastes a lot wow. like apple pie. That's good. Yeah. That's really you know good. what you could do? Oops. If you really wanted to be fancy, you could salt your uh, rim with brown sugar and a little oh, bit of cinnamon. Shit, I'm I just saying. To do that. You know what? I'm just saying. Uh. Really yeah, it's the most thought that I've seen you put into anything See, in nope, a long time. Everybody <laughs> wanted me to fail, and they all were gonna think it was gonna taste you shitty, but fail. it turns out that it tastes delicious. pretty good. Delicious. I do. The Dave, cinnamon is, think? um... Dave? Pick. Dave. Dave. If it's got fireball in it, I fucking love it. <laughs> well, he's got a little... Why do I have to sip me? <laughs> he's, a, he's a sloppy drunk. He's got a little bit of liquid on his lips. I he's wonder where that came before. from. So today, uh, I am doing a drink for once. Uh, oh. I think this is the second drink I've made all, all the times we've been doing this. And today I am doing my own creation though, the chocolate jack-o'-lantern. So this is my own made up thing. And so we're gonna do, um, I filled this blender up with about eight ounces of ice. Then we're doing two, let's say two shot glasses of this Kraken spiced rum. Very pirate rum. Which is exactly what we have. It's a very pirate rum. And then we're gonna be doing, uh, so that's a ounce, so that's three ounces total. Then we're gonna be doing two ounces of half and half. And then we have pumpkin pie filling. I love a pumpkin pie. Oh, I love pumpkin. And they have fireball pumpkin pie. Ooh. Let's do about well, let's say about three quarters of a can of that. Because why not? It's my creation. It is yours. And then we're gonna add I have my own homemade spice mix. This is not, in fact, Onion Burger <coughs> Steakhouse. Did fool me. Did this fool me. is a mixture of cinnamon. We'll do a couple shakes of the cinnamon, sugar, nutmeg, uh, cloves, and a little bit of ginger. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons. Of Heaping tablespoons. Two good tablespoons of brown sugar. What grandma used to do. One more thing we need before we blend this up is just a couple drops, drops of orange food coloring to make this really look like a jack-o'-lantern. So it'll look like a pumpkin. Exactly. Uh, it'll taste and look like a pumpkin. Before we put this in, in the cup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put a rim around this. This is melted chocolate mixed with some half and half. Put that chocolate around and then this is that same spice blend. Not hamburger seasoning. Definitely not hamburger seasoning. There we go. And for extra, I added a jack-o'-lantern face to this. So then, when we fill this up, we have a nice jack-o'-lantern. 
There's the well, chocolate jack-o-lantern. Fucking shit, she just won booze club. <laughs> she just won. All right. So here's What's... my uh, chocolate jack-o-lantern, my own creation, mm. and I have no idea how this tastes. This is the first time I've made it. It smells good. <laughs> really? I can smell the chocolate and the cinnamon. I can smell the jack-o-lantern. Oh, I would fuck with mm. this. Oh mm. my god! <laughs> I am not gonna lie. Oh my god! At first, I was extremely <laughs> skeptic. Oh my god! I was extremely skeptic, but it is. If you think of like what heaven might be like if mm. there was really one, this is probably what it would be. Like. I guess oh this, my yeah. god! Well, it is. It's a, absolutely incredible. Mm. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. the pumpkin That's flavor, unreal. Mm. The uh, rim is what I mean. The pumpkin's amazing, but the rim. The rim. Oh my god! I love the rim. The rim job tonight. <laughs> For <laughs> real. Yeah. The rim, rim job ever. that Nicole put on this <laughs> evening was delicious. <laughs> Did you ask, did you ask Dave what he thought? Yes, eh? What did Dave think? Hold on. Let's bring him out. Dave. <laughs> yes. Again, this is Dave from North here. Country MTV. North. All right, here. <laughs> Pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we went to booze club school. And we learned that things can be very scary. But they can also be very tasty. Kim, any words? Ah, uh, yeah, I would still. I'm going to throw my hat in the ring and say that my sake was the scariest shit out there today. I think it was, actually. I it know, was the it, most it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was terrifying, but Tommy's burning barn was something else, too. Mm-hmm, uh, exactly. You know what, that's actually true. The barn. closest thing, all right, the closest <laughs> thing I can say about Tommy's was imagine if you lit an apple orchard on fire and tried to douse it out with rubbing alcohol. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's that would a be. similar. That is a similar <laughs> thing. And no, you know what? Works. You might actually be right because the sake, as bad as it was, was like one and done and out quick. But the burning barn stayed with it you. It stayed with you a long for time. For a while. And the smoke a hung low in the glens. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It did, but. The smoke lingered. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But Booze Club did take a turn for the better. We got into a couple sweeter drinks. Yes. Um, um, I'd like to represent our, or at least mention our affiliates North Country Mountain Biking, Shred Till Death. Nicole Beckman Grooming, uh, actually Lansing Grooming Spa, Pet Grooming Spa, mm. um, Tom Beckman, Media and Shit. Uh, uh, he's basically, uh, you know, I, I can't think of who I missed. It's um, very true. It's very true. Um, Boost Club is here and now. Yes. So, thank and I'd you. I'd like to take a special, special moment to thank David Boshek for, you know, just being Dave. And... If you didn't, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button and let us know what you want to see next time. <laughs> Penises! Yeah!